Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand what is time complexity of an algorithm. The definition, the basic definitions of algorithm, algorithm specification and why we need to analyze an algorithm has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of those concepts is important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is the time complexity of an algorithm that uh, the time complexity of an algorithm is the amount of computer time it needs to run to completion so it looks very simple right so but uh, for the better understanding the uh, for the understanding of the concept of time complexity we are going to discuss this concept for the next four to five videos with lots of examples so try to focus more because because this is the point where you have to get the clear idea of the concepts okay so try to focus more and watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity so to, to understand this let's consider this example this is a simple algorithm in this algorithm uh, what this what is the job done by this algorithm is uh, <coughs> it is uh, considering two values a and b so it is going to sum the, the values of a and b and it is getting stored in sum. In reality, in practice, so the definition states that it is the time complexity of an algorithm. It is the uh, time complexity of an algorithm is the amount of computer time it needs to run to completion. So in order to complete the execution of this algorithm, what is the amount of time that it is taking? So that is what we call it as time complexity. But the question is, how can we compute the amount of time taken by this algorithm? What are the factors the, upon which this program depend for, for, for it to get completed? so this is this is this is very important point to understand so how to calculate it how to calculate it is for example if you if you consider only this line of code just consider only this line of code can you guess how many number of it is looking like one single instruction right but in order to execute this one single line of code how many how many micro operations will it do so first what happens is it is load a it is going to load a so these concepts we have discussed in our computer organization course so the entire computer organization we have discussed about these concepts so first we have to load a and then we have to load b and then we have to do uh, a plus b in the arithmetic logic unit and that a, uh, that the sum of this a plus b will get stored in a variable called sum and we have to uh, we have to store this value of uh, a plus b into the uh, memory location where the sum is so we have discussed about all these steps of executions of the program okay so these many number of steps these many number of micro op operations has to be done in order to get the output in order for this one single statement to get executed and if you if you if you take a computer uh, if you take two computers for example if this computer uh, a is working at a speed of at a clock speed of 2 gigahertz and this computer is working at a clock speed of 4 gigahertz so which one is going to work very fast 4 gigahertz computer clock speed of 4 gigahertz is going to work very faster so there are different factors that are involved in order to find the amount of time taken by each and every execution every instruction to get executed so these are all factors is what we call it as instance characteristics so what what we call it as so th these are these factors and these factors also depend upon the way in which the compiler has been designed so uh, based upon the way in which the compiler has been designed uh, uh, so we 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 this this uh, program execution is dependent upon so all these factors is what we call it as instance characteristics instance characters means characteristics means so these are the characteristics these are the characteristics which 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 are going to be decided at the instance of execution at the instance of execution the factors which are uh, which are 
decided at the instance of the execution is what we call it as instance characteristics so this based upon this instance characteristics we can find the execution time but is it feasible no it is not feasible so how we are going to find the time complexity of an algorithm how we are going to find the time complexity of an algorithm the very important point that we have to understand is program step so what is that it is program step what is meant by a program step okay so about this program step we will try to understand in our next class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel uh, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching